Today we'll be doing a rank guide on Hera for Base. Make sure to turn out the corresponding subtitles. There are timestamps in the description. A little tip. Attackers won't be using a lot of the staircases for the push because of the design. They cannot see nothing and the angles are way against attackers when trying to pick a floor below or above. Hera for Base. It is most likely a ranked map in the Siege community and I can really see why. So many ways to attack, the top bomb side which makes it heavily attacking sided and the middle floor bomb side are very easy to defend. Lightning is a perfect for the map, very similar to the theme park. Yeah, no. I was ironic. Anyhow, to start with the video, we'll be defending top floor, the most defended sided objective in the map. You can expect a heavy east push from attackers and sometimes combine it with the stairs push. Also, smoke grenades will be a mandatory thing for attackers. For a bit more advanced, you will want to put a mirror window in the attic towards the tractor storage, east side, and having clash. That way, you're totally denying the south part of the top floor, forcing attackers to play vertically onto you. For this setup, remember, these are red and these are blue stairs. This is a red room. For the basic setup, Mira is recommended. I will also go with Mute. It will be great to have a mirror window in the tractor pointing at the southeast side. When placing it here, the only two ways to get rid of the player behind the mirror is with the capital balls on the balcony or a frag grenade from below. The other mirror can be put in the ammo storage pointing at it to see the southwest part of the map. Your mirror window here is itself more vulnerable from beneath, can be popped. And also be aware of a cook grenade from the window next to you. Both mirror windows can be denied by the tweet drone coming from the rooftop drone hole. So not to worry about that one, I have brought mute. Another very strong jammer can be played by bedroom to deny the east outside stairs and the top of the same doors. You can play with several vertical mute jammers to jamatic places like placing in the kids to jam middle of attic. or in red room to jam blue stairs. I will use the two jammers on a bit more common places, by both of the staircases by this side. So attackers have to get on the middle of the stairs to get rid of it. Else, they won't be able to come on the top with the drones located in the lower floors. As for the reinforcements, you will need four by the tractor. Here is a mirror window, and on the reinforcement on its right is just to have a bit more safe space when placing behind the mirror window. These two walls are in dead walls in between sides. However, if you tend to open them, you are giving attackers a free angle all the way from the balcony to the buff objectives, which is never a good idea. The fifth and the final mandatory enforcement is for the other mirror window. You are left with fire enforcements and they are up to you. Barbed wires. You will definitely need at least one by each stairs. Two by the each stairs will be the best if possible. Those barbed wires paired with the mute jammers are very deadly, not letting attackers to go through staircases. You could put one more barbed wire here so the play by the mirror window is even more safe from the blue stairs. No rotation is mandatory, you can open up a leg level line of sight over here to see the top of the blue stairs. The final topic, anchor spots, you can obviously play behind any of the mirror windows. You can play behind the red tractor to have a nice angle towards the outside staircases as well as the balcony on the south. Playing behind the bomb if someone is pushing you through red stairs is also a solid idea. 
Both anchor spots can be denied from blue stairs, so be aware. For the other bomb side, playing behind the yellow thing of A bomb is very strong angle if your mirror is destroyed. You can be playing in the middle of attic, as you will have both stairs secure from barbed wires and jammer, you're pretty much safe from these angles. You're connecting both sides with this spot, denying this window, and you can even vault on this while crouching. If you want to peek, just stand up. Keep in mind that a frag grenade can come to you. Forgot to mention to open all the hatches aside from this one, which is situational. The second best side to defend when solo or duo queue is basement. You can actually expect a horizontal east push. There will happen very rarely or if attackers failed miserably a west push. Advanced hold will be with a mirror window in the workshop and clash or lesion by the east outside hallway. The global shield could be also nice. As for our standard and basic defend, it's recommended to have Kaid for a hedge in the A bomb side and Vitecher was banned, you can very easily, from a wall, electrolyze a go to wall to be opened by attackers. The Kai charge is basically invisible. The other operator, Mira, is always a nice pick. You can go with the following Mira windows in chamber pointing generator on the right side. You're pretty much denied the west push, if not from blue stairs. The other Mira can be placed in the bravery pointing main hallway or pointing storage in the middle. If having the Mira pointing hallway, then it's recommended to put it on the right side and to have bandit on the triple bravery walls. With the mirror, you are totally denying the east push. There is a butt over here. The mirror on the middle of the triple bravery walls is just another layer to pass for attackers if doing the east push. Reinforcement part you will need if you have the triple walls in bravery closed and luxurized, these two exterior walls and this wall for the mirror window. The exterior walls are enforced if attackers feel like pushing through this tunnel, they will come towards your mirror window. Also to aid your other mirror window not to be destroyed from this side. You will need these four walls closed. These three for the extra layer against the east push, put the bandit charge there and this wall is for the mirror window. Last two reinforcements are here where you will put the Kai charge in the storage and the bravery hatch. Bravery hatch is very important to have it closed as the takers could drop through the hatch and pretty much make the collapse onto your hold, whereas the exterior storage wall is giving you an extra way for attackers to push inside. One reinforcement is still not put, it's up to you. It's time to talk about the barbed wires. Similar to the past defense, you will want them by the staircases, middle or above. If you have two extra pair of them, place bar wires in between of the middle and above, and in between of middle and below. However, the reason of putting them rather than below a bow, if you have just one pair of barbed wires, is that you want to use them as sound cue and when attackers go through staircases. Wires located below won't alert you, attackers holding the angles by the staircases. You will definitely need a rotation between sides, and for some extra line of sight, you could go all the way towards the second floor in the bathroom to see the go to wall to be breached. Storage in basement that you use one of the Kai charge. Remember, before anchor spots, let's explain the bus regarding the bravery mirror window. This angle from attackers is very, very strong if open the walls. Attackers can get rid of a bravery mirror. There are several ways to counter this, which is starting off with the castle barricading this door and Malink 11 times. Another way is to replace the chamber mirror with this one on the left. The right one can be pulled from the storage. And pre open these two walls. You have two extra reinforcements and overall three reinforcements left. You might want to reinforce the generator hatch in case you're playing with the pre open exterior walls so you can continuously contest them through the generator, worrying only about the staircases. As for the anchor spots, aside from the mirror window behind this small half wall. And that's pretty much about it, as other anchor spots are more dynamic. Depending on what attackers are doing and pushing, and which angles, 
are opened through our third objective to defend, still relatively easily, because we are talking about the Hereford, will be the bedrooms. You can expect a top and south push, so you will definitely want to play with the summon on a bow. Advanced strat will require a fine amount of talk, so I will skip that part. Recommended operators are mirror and smoke. Mirror windows can be put above in the master bedroom. The reason of me putting their mirror window is they cannot be destroyed from above, but they still can be destroyed from below. The first mirror watches the A bomb and the red room. You can also see blue stairs. The other mirror is there to partitionally deny the south push. You will have their reinforcement, and will be said later why. Smoke is primarily picked if attackers are trying to get in the bathroom with the brute force, like smoke with glass, montane, ying, or else. Let's jump on the reinforcements. You will need two for the mirror windows, two facing bathroom. So your mirror players are safe from the angle from outside, and overall the objective is more secured. You will need two reinforcements facing red room. So your smoke player is playing on a safe position, and that is six. The other four are optional. It is recommended to have a reinforcement on the left side of this wall for additional safety for your smoke. And one more wall to be reinforced is this one. So in case attackers somehow rush through the laundry, they cannot get an angle on your other mirror window. Other two are up to your team, or even these four. As for the barbed wires, you will definitely need a pair of them on the top and the bottom of any staircases for the same reasons as the previous objectives. If you have another two barbed wires to spare, the fifth and the sixth, I will definitely recommend placing one by the bathroom door toward the outside and the other on the kids doors toward the blue stairs. The blue stairs one is to help Smokey being pushed or rot, whereas the bathroom one is against the same brute force pushing through it. As for the rotations, you will need to open the hatch in the kids for the smoke player for an escape route. Line of sights, you will need to make it on this wall, so smoke and fruit is babes into the bathroom push, and on this wall, so your smoke player can even delay the blue stairs push or the red room push. When making this line of sight for the mirror window pointing south, be careful about a cook grenade coming from the laundry while they are being saved by the reinforcement. You can deny the vertical push from below with these three vertical lano sites by the B bomb against the door in between piano and dining, southwest part of the carpet to deny the door in between piano and the hallway, and the door between bathroom and bedroom to see the window leading to piano. You can even see the outside go to wall to be breached when attacking basement, if you remember the place. As for the anchor spots, you already know one, which is the smoke place and the kids next to these two walls. You can be pushed only from above, else you should be very safe. You can obviously play behind the mirror windows and that requires just one player. Maybe an additional one to watch the vertical line of sight and bathroom for smoke. You will definitely need to play a bow and you have two or even three players to do so. So the own play is all yours. You have two and up to four reinforcements to invest on your own play. You can additionally open up all four top floor hatches. The last site to defend is Kitchen Piano. This site is very rarely to defend because the other three are way easier to defend, mostly because they are not separated by one huge hallway. And this side requires an advanced setup with Clash and Bandit, Bandit tricking the triple AA walls towards the garage. Also, a top floor presentence is a must. Garage and top floor pushing is expected, as well as opening the prep double walls by Maverick, probably. As for the reinforcements, you will need a wall in piano, so you can more safe play in there. Two walls in the prep, prep is the only room that connects the two bomb sides and reinforce the triple A walls. If you're going to play in garage, make sure to reinforce these two walls. Without the garage walls, you're left with only four reinforcements. The triple A walls is reinforced because it's the objective walls. I will also, if playing with mirror, reinforce these two walls and place a mirror window on the middle wall 
with having Lano set cutting this hallway, blue stairs, and whole living room and the main entrance. The mirror will help the piano guy holding it. As for the barred wires, you will need a pair of them on the red stairs on top and the bottom, and in the main hallway. The main hallway barred wire is there mostly not to allow attackers go through the hallway, or forcing them using their utility to get rid of the barbed wire. Line of sights. Aside from the mirror ones, open up two vertical line of sights from the piano towards the storage. With the window one, you can see their push through the go-to wall to be breached when attacking basement. And with the other one, you can see the door that is leading towards the basement main hallway. Make sure to open up the dining hatch. Now, as for the anchor spots, you will obviously want to have bandit bandit tricking the triple A walls. One behind the kitchen mirror window and one in the piano. Piano guy has to worry about the two angles, this window and the hallway. Attackers cannot repel on this window, similarly like the shallow trophy window. The reason of playing here is for additional main hallway pressure for attackers. A little plan behind this chat is totally denying the main entrance with Mira, piano player and Clash by the main hallway on the first floor. Clash will also help the only left roamer on the top floor when needed. Bandit is not allowing attackers opening the wall and if attackers are not in the main hallway, you have more presentance in both of the objectives. For the last Mira, you can use here with a reinforced wall to see dining. And that will be it.